I would like to return and have a conversation with Sandy's higher self and subconscious, please. Yes, we're here. Thank you so much. It seems that she's been enjoying your energy. Yes, she loves feeling the energy in the body. Nice. Are you giving her an upgrade at this moment? Tune-ups. Mm, what what tune-ups are you giving her? Mm, more high vibrational energy. Um, purging dense energy. Anchoring more light. She has expanded more so we can expand the body more. When did she last expand more? Hmm. The big expansion, the last one was in Miami and now, little by little, here in the UK, she has expanded more. So, when you experience release from trauma, such as childhood trauma, you allow the pain to go through you and release it, you expand more. Thank you. And from your perspective, how is the best way one should find and heal and overcome their inner childhood trauma? Yeah, so most volunteers have had some sort of childhood, childhood trauma. And they chose that to heal the family ancestral line and or to help them expand and be able to survive in this lifetime without exiting earlier. So that kind of prepares you to the future of what life, of what life throws at you um so that's why you choose to experience those challenging times in your childhood and as you grow the um when you heal yourself it's very very uh, rewarding um, a lot of people get distracted and they go into victim mode. But we want to remind them that you chose your life, your challenges. And when something triggers you and you feel like you're being treated unfairly, yes, that's part of the experience. And now you have the opportunity to step into your power and see things from a different perspective and trying to see what is this trying to uh, teach you or show you or things that you need to work on like forgiveness. Because when you forgive, you set yourself free and you have to understand also that the other person is also hurting. So if you have family members that are triggering you, then that's something to look at what are the things you need to work on, such as forgiveness. And they just, they play their role. You play, you are playing your role um, 
so there's pockets here and there that you need to work on. Go through the pain, expand, forgive. Be in the frequency of love, unconditional love. And set your boundaries. It's also part of your journey. You can love someone, send them unconditional love, so you help them to go through their own inner work and traumas. But everybody's responsible for their own work. And you don't have to let them hurt you anymore. That was just part of the experience. And now you can just choose. Do you let them hurt you more? Or do you just send them away with love? So they can work on their own stuff. So Did I explain that correctly? Yes, it was, it was very good. Thank you so much. So the trauma that we experienced was part of the lesson and to complete the lesson is to overcome it and see it from the bigger perspective, learning from, um, from that to then know how to empower us moving forward. Yes, exactly. So <clears throat> now that you are an adult, you can see things from a different perspective. Um, and now you have this knowledge about contracts and how everything has a purpose. And you can try to see it from that perspective, removing your emotions and see, okay, why did that person do that? or why, why did I react that way? There are no victims. Everything has a purpose. The dark and the light, the polarity in this planet, the growth. Thank you. And so yeah, it's, it's just hard when you're going through it. And we understand. And ask your team for help. Ask for a bubble of light so, to surround you. It's, we're not saying it's easy. It's just the more higher perspective you have, the more you can understand in your human mind. Some people are more loving than others it's just it's a personal decision so make the decision to just feel love and to empower yourself um, and just make a decision do you want people to keep hurting you or taking advantage of you or do you just want to Set your boundaries, empowering yourself, and send them, send them healing and love. Um, they they would just decide, and they're with their free will if they accept the love and keep growing. And everybody just, you know, we all keep growing and growing. And once you're done with one layer of your inner work, then it's you're up to the next and the next and the next. Thank you. I'm going to ask about a very sensitive topic, which does not relate to uh, to Sandy or myself. But why do people have the life contracts to be raped? What is the experience that they're trying to uh, learn from and grow from in that very sensitive topic. Yes. Um, 
Some have been the perpetrators in past life and karma. Some have wanted to experience that so that they could relate to that type of challenging experience. Because uh, when you're on the other side and you look at all the things that can go wrong and all this dense emotions that dense experiences that have happened on earth when you're on the other side you're like okay you came here and you were like okay I want to experience that 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 so you have a better understanding and from painful, painful situations and challenges, you grow and expand your energy in the body. So you can anchor more light and expand. Thank you. From a human perspective, you cannot even imagine the pain, but there when you are on the other side, you don't experience the same thing. So you come here to want to experience different things. It's the way that we have sex and sexual experiences and pleasures. Is that quite unique for this planet and for these bodies? Um, I'm wondering if the majority of people who have chose to have lifetimes here haven't experienced the full range using these bodies? Yes, yeah, so Earth is a very unique planet um, and the density here is unlike anything else. So there's more experiences. Was that your question? Um, I was kind of more interested, well, yes, um, but I was also sort of interested in, it seems that lots of people want to know how, how do other species and beings uh, pleasure themselves uh, sexually? Is this something that, uh, in terms of um, you subconscious, Sandy subconscious, um, remind me of what collective you are connected to. Um, we're connected to different collectives. But the Retina Collective just came to mind. They love the drama and causing chaos. They love experiencing, experiencing the low densities of this planet. They love the feeling of rape. Um, they have gone off balance and this cannot be allowed anymore. It's just, it's been enough. So for the collective's growth of experiences, they have gained all that they wanted to gain and know for their collective consciousness? Um, so the reptilians, they like to inflict pain and And this is allowed at some degree to allow growth and but the experience of rape itself is not just so the reptilian they like to inflict pain um, and they have done 
a lot of the rape experience per se uh, them being the perpetrators and the people that have signed up for that experience not necessarily need to be from one collective of another it's just something in the menu that they want to experience or pay karma back Okay, thank you. And so does does the vehicle, does she have uh, support teams from the reptilian collective? No, she does not. Okay, okay. But well, thank you for the reptilians to come in. Actually, it's interesting that um, they're here. Can I ask them some questions? Um, we can relay some messages, but they're not really here. Okay. 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 Um, well then, uh, so thank you. So, um, as I am very aware, um, that there is this planet that we have, that we're all living on, and we have different star seeds from different collectives, all wanting these experiences here on Earth. Now, is it true to say that there are reptilian uh, star seeds who are QHHT practitioners? Oh yes, man, mm hello. -hmm. And why are they um, why are they interested in this information um, from their perspective? It's another way to influence and infiltrate. It's a game. Would those practitioners be sharing information about the new birth? No. They will want people to think that new earth is here, but how can that be? The planet is dying. But then people say, well, yeah, the planet resets itself every so often and yeah that's true and then when it resets itself most of the people die on the planet so either way you're gonna be gone so stop trying to think that it's gonna be here the planet is dying it's the planet it's beyond repair and yes, the planet has reset it itself before, but when that happens, most of the species on the planet die. So you will die if you, you know, either way. And you don't really die, it's just your vessel dies. But the shift is different because this has happened before in other dimensions, something similar. That's why people are experiencing now um, memories or of past lives or during regressions where <clears throat> they have been evacuated before. Um, you have sessions like that. The vessel has sessions like that where people are mm, evacuating, so evacuated in ships. So They've, they've been taken to the ship and then their soul or essence, whatever you want to call it, it's placed in a different body and then you're transported to a different dimension or planet. I mean, or both, you're transported somewhere else. So it's different because you don't die and born again, you're just transferred from one vessel to another. So that's what's going to happen. And this has happened before. It's not something new. Where you're transferred from one body to another. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Um, has it happened before where um, 3D people beings have been transported and taken to a higher dimensional? 
not a not at a higher dimension, it's just different 3D planet. In a different dimension. Like universe, different universe. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. So it's a different, a different location to the original planet, but it's still a third physical 3D planet. Yes, yes. Dense, yeah, dense city. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Um, so then getting back to those um the QHHC practitioners that have the reptilian, I don't want to say agenda, but narrative, shall we say, their information that they're getting in sessions. Um, so they're not sharing that the new earth is a different planet. They're saying that 5G, uh, 5D is here on this planet and it's already existing. Is that what you were saying? Even though that's not true, it's allowed to be, uh, the agenda it's allowed because it gives them hope. It gives them hope here that 5D is here and, you know, uh, this can all encourage, encourage them to be 5D because if you think you're in 5D then, you know, you're creating that reality. And that's the idea, like, if you're here in 3D and you're thinking 5D, then guess what's going to happen? You're going to go to 5D. I so see. that's, it's all purposeful. Why does the information about the new Earth being on a different planet not give them hope? Yes, that's a good question. Um, they're afraid. They're afraid to leave this planet because their people are into their routines and they're distracted and they're afraid of dying and leaving the planet. They like this planet. They don't want change. And it's understanding. Because most people are afraid of dying. Yes, indeed. So for those people who don't know uh, the collective for the practitioner or the client, I mean, we know people say things all the time, but the reality is something quite different. So if there was a QHHT practitioner who was saying they were from um, a different, uh, like a, a Palladium or a Turian collective, but sharing information from QHHT sessions saying that 5D is already here, um, would they be then trying to say that there is still... Um, that this planet's going to be in peace and harmony, or are they trying to say that we're still that we're still going to have um, the the breakup and the natural disasters that this planet's going to experience? What are they trying to sell people on with this information? Yes. Yeah, so when you tell people five D is here, it removes their fear, and when you don't have fear you become more high vibrational. So people that are not ready for the information, they feel more comfortable feeling that 5D is here. And then there's no more fear about dying. And it's actually, uh, it's good for them to think about that things are getting better, that, by this here, so you know your life is getting better. It's about removing their fear, and it's about um, making them feel happier. So that way they contribute to the collective high vibrational energy. 
So they're not ready to face reality per se. But we understand and you know, we have compassion. So if they're saying no 5D is here, you know, that's what they're trying to manifest and, and that's fine because eventually they will be in 5D. So what's the best way to get there is thinking that you're already in 5D. I see. And so because they have hope, they're going to raise their own vibration. Um, how will they feel when the disasters start happening? They will realize that 5D is not here, but since they already know the information, they're going to have hope that they will be going to 5D. Because they know they will know at that time. So will they leave this planet and then go to 5D? If they raise their vibration, yeah. If not, then you'll reincarnate again somewhere else. And you could reincarnate in 5D or go somewhere else. So it's possible for a reptilian star seed to raise their vibrations enough to go with the shift? Mm, this is a touchy subject. Um, reptilians. Uh, if they reincarnated here on Earth, that's a possibility. But if the <clears throat> the body, it's reptilian, per se, for lack of a better word. Um, they be there's a possibility to be relocated, but not to fight. Is this not to the earth? No, not the new earth. No, not to the new earth. This is a a human experience, not. Not for reptilians. Is there a reptilian based 5D planet designed for them? No. Sorry. But no. Okay. Well, we understand that that is that must be part of what their collective wants to experience, and that's part of their DNA, is that correct? Correct, they, um, they need the lessons. So it's all an experience, but they're very afraid to understand. So for those, um, what we assume look like humans and the humanoid bodies, which have been designed by, is it majority the Palladians, is that correct? Mm. yes and then the soul essence of a reptilian um goes in and is created and lives a human life but they are from the or they're from mostly from the reptilian collective having their normal everyday life and how would they know that they were a reptilian star seed because they've got skin that looks human they don't eat other humans i mean how would these people um how do they even know that they are part of the reptilian star seed collective mm, they don't need to know and it's better that they don't know because they have a bad reputation there's also good reptilians. 
So they're having a human experience and they can choose to go to 5D because they're in a human body, reincarnated in a human body. And that's part of their um, soul, their soul experiences. So the reason why they wanted to have a lifetime in a humanoid body, uh, being a human here on Earth, is to master the 3D and graduate and raise their vibrations to fifth? Yes, that's part of the experience. Yeah. That's okay. what, if that's what they want to experience, then it's possible. And, and so... And you can... And, and you can be part of different collectives, not just, you know, the team. It's just part of the experience. And then after 5D, they can go to a different collective or just keep experiencing. Thank you. And I, and I hope the reptilians don't feel like I'm uh, singling them out. But I do know that many people are trying to make peace with the reptilian the idea of the reptilians and to accept them and learn from these sessions how to to see these others other beings knowing we have no clue where we have come from really and potentially we all could have had other lifetimes um has has the vehicle had any lifetimes being a reptilian no the vehicle has very few life, not lifetimes, but experiences in density planets. Um, so she wanted to experience this life here to have a better understanding of what life is like in a 3D planet so she can better guide others and other planets. But no, no, no other four lifetimes on 3D. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Thank you. Um, and just um, my question, for those starseed for the reptilian to here in their human bodies, are they able to move to the new earth? Um, or is, is that not part of that experience? So if they have reincarnated here on a, in a human body, they can go to new earth, yes. That's a possibility. If they raise their vibration. Is that what some of them want, is to be able to have that experience? And how successful are they at raising their vibration? Give me a percentage. Hmm. It's very low percentage, but it's possible. Twenty mm, percent, maybe, and the reason as possible is because they have experience uh, other people's high vibrational vibration energy, so they feed off those high vibrational energy people and they can experience it. But it's hard for them to anchor anchor the high vibration. Uh, but it's possible if they want to. I mean, you have free will. And do you want to continue your agenda or you want to change and we have created the right environment with the volunteers to anchor high, high vibrational energy on the planet to 
give everybody an opportunity to raise their vibration. So now it's up to you. Do you want to forgive and live in the frequency of love or do you want to be in victim mode and hate people that um, did you wrong from your perspective? It seems like it always comes down to choices. If people want to choose to do their inner work and raise their vibrations and be responsible or not. Yes, and when you have difficulties with family members and you fight them and you want to teach them a lesson and tell them how wrong they are. So are you actually... Forgiving them and being unconditional love, being on the frequency of condition, unconditional love, or are you doing the opposite? So think about these things, right? You know, everybody has had people that have done you wrong, but there was a purpose there. And if they push your buttons, it's because there's some there's things you need to work on on yourself so maybe you know on a subconscious level they were you were like okay do this to me so i can react and in a subconscious level i need to heal that so <laughs> people need 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 to remember that nothing happens to you everything happens for you So if you have conflict with somebody, ask yourself, why? Why? What is this trying to teach you? What is this? What are you trying to learn from this? Stop being in the victim mode. You have the power to change things around. You can manipulate anything you want. Any energy, circumstance, anything. You create your own world and reality. This gets thrown, thrown around a lot, but it's just so powerful. Yes, I can see how um, the using our mindsets to create our inner peace and harmony is super important and nothing else should distract us if there is a disbalance there. There's always going to be things thrown at you every day. So it's about how you react to it. Yes, it always is best to have the bigger perspective um, to find that neutral. So thank you. Um, in terms of um, the hybrids, um, we have had other sessions where um, the reptilians did want to mix many um, DNA from different star seeds to be able to help them move into their fifth dimensional bodies. How is that going? Are you able to give us information about that? I mean, that, that is a way to move to 5D through a human body and hybrids. But I'm sorry, what the best of us I want to talk about the routines is just too much of a dense energy. Mm, okay. Okay, thank you. I do understand. Um, okay, well, uh, moving forward. Um, so the sessions that we seem to have been able to do for the last over a year, I keep talking about the new earth and the shift to new earth being a, a new planet. Um, I sort of feel like this planet's vessel is is going through some big changes um i feel like this is another dense question uh 
in in many which ways but um how is the planet's surface going um what would you like us to know at this point so the planet's going through changes and um the media is trying to censor some of it so there's a lot of things going on changes but some people feel like it's just normal you know every year there's uh, there are catastrophes so Things are getting ramped up. There's more changes coming and it's just gonna be more and more and more. Uh, and people are gonna start noticing it's not just one, one spot, but it's just gonna be all around. Uh, so it's just part of the changes that are coming for the planet to uh, sorry destroy itself. Okay, thank you. I do understand. And for those people who think that we are trying to blame global warming or trying to link global warning, warming to the, uh, the free will of this planet who has told us many times she wants to reincarnate and leave this vessel. Is it really just global warming that we're seeing and we're confused? It's not global warming, it's the... Um... planet is dying, uh, per se. Uh, so it doesn't matter what you do. It's just now it's time to leave. It's the planet's beyond repair. It is very sad because we are so emotionally attached to this planet. So it is hard for us to accept this and no one really wants to step into accepting all of it because it just sounds too horrific. Um, but we keep getting told this regardless of what session and who and when and where we do this these sessions this is the same information over and over again um i don't know what else we can ask to get more um i don't know I, i'm not asking for proof but what would you like us to know so we can um raise our vibration again and be reminded of the bigger perspective and purpose I see that there was another timeline where the planet was going to be destroyed anyways. It's just the cycle of life and the universe. Um, even here, even here, the planet has gone through cycles and almost destroyed the whole species. And it recycles this and recycles this again. But now humans have done so much damage that it cannot recycle itself again. And it's hard for people to comprehend that they're leaving the planet where they have had so many reincarnations 
and so many beautiful memories. And they're asleep and they don't want to let go. And that's part of, you know, the human experience is hard to let go and it's hard to change. And if they want to think that the new 5D information, the new 5D is here on this planet, then let them be because that's what's making them happy. Yes, I can see that now that um, it gives them hope to think that it's all here and um, I, it makes me happy finding truth and consistency. Um, so, um, but I can understand that that's the safer option. Um, the easiest logical one is that it's magically healed because it's never been a concept that we've been given in our society that planets die. And it is something that is so foreign to us um, when we start learning this journey. So we understand we've grown, we, we accept Gaia and her contract because we've had so many conversations with her over the last year and a half. Um, so we can respect that information. And even those people who don't want to believe it, um, that is completely fine. Do whatever you need to do to raise your vibrations to be in joy, even if it is doubting and hating this information. If that gives you joy, please do it. Um, yes. <laughs> um, it's also, it's a very traumatic experience to see the planet being destroyed when for the people that have had many reincarnations here it's probably the most difficult thing for them to think about not for the people that you know were coming here for the first time it's we don't have attachments like they have we know that planets you know, are born and they're that. And, you know, it's a cycle of the universe. Planets die or are destroyed by, you know, external circumstances and part of, you know, a different experience. But for the people that have had many reincarnations here and <clears throat> have lived on this planet for so long this is very traumatic for them very very traumatic and from and that can carry to the next life so this is why they're getting the information now that we're going to 5D at different dimensions. So it's preparing them to the idea that they're leaving. So that will help with their trauma. It's very traumatic, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, for those people who've had many reincarnations here, was that forced on them or was that their free will? their free will when you die and go to the other side you want to go back and fix things the way that many people refer to this lifetime and all these lifetimes that they've had on this planet it, they sound so victim mode and victimized and traumatized um, you would think that the liberation of this planet would give them great joy. Yeah, but they've been here for so long, they have, they're attached. I see the duality of that. And so are they going to be happy for Gaia that she gets to uh, evolve and graduate and expand into the fifth dimension? 
Yes, when you die, um, then you see things from a different perspective and you'll be happy. However, the destruction of the planet will affect them. But because they're getting the information now, it's just preparing them to be, to have a better understanding. Possible to have fear. It's not a, yeah, it's not about Gaia, the being, it's more about the planet itself, the, the, um, the physical body, the physical body, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, I understand. Well, they don't want to leave their physical bodies here and they don't want to leave the physical body of the earth here. They don't want to leave anything behind. They're almost with much love hoarders. Yeah, I mean, they, it's just hard to comprehend when you are here because you don't remember who you are. But at the same time, they just, they've had so many lifetimes here, they're attached. They, they're getting used to being here. And they're holding on to the good memories that they've had, the good experiences. Yeah, I can understand that. That is beautiful. And there has been some fantastic lessons and experiences here. So, and will those memories stay with us and our souls forever? Will we be able to always recall our details of each life we've ever lived? Yes. Will we have that um, capability on the new earth or in 5D? Mm, you can access to access it if you want to. Okay, fantastic. Um, I know people get curious about how people will shift. Will there be what it looks like? People just dropping dead? Hmm. I see more natural disasters. Uh, dropping that, yeah, some. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And that's all part of their life contracts, and it's exactly what they need to experience. Yes, everything happens the way. You want to experience it, and that's you didn't want to experience it that way before. Then the contract changed, and then you agree agreed to it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. Can I just ask: Is there anyone that listens to these sessions that wants to know if I am? or if I ever have been a reptilian? <laughs> I don't see you being a reptilian. I see you being a dragon. Well, some people say that it could be the same thing. <laughs> right. It's not. Um, there's so many different types of species. Uh, but the reptilians you're referring to, no. And um, finally, is this one of the reasons why you've always told us, and I'm talking to all the collectives that have always had us in all of these sessions, is the reason why you've always told us to go within 
to love and heal ourselves and to be able to connect in to our true selves, to our own higher selves. So then we can trust ourselves and the information from our own intuition versus relying on anybody else who could have come from any other collective and have their own limitations and agenda and purpose in their life contracts. Was that one of the reasons why you firmly wanted us to do our own inner work? Yes, and you need to trust yourself and see what res resonates with you. And at different times in your life, different things will resonate with you. So when you graduate from one level, you go to the next and to the next and to the next. So you'll be giving, you'll be giving different information until you can process it, apply it, and then you go to the next level. And don't focus too much on following influencers or following people too much or reading things to, because that would just be a distraction. So when information comes into your life, just see if it resonates, then apply the information. And then you go to the next and then somebody else will come along giving you different information. Then you apply the information and then you keep going. Don't just stay with one type of information or don't get obsessed and go through the rabbit, rabbit hole rabbit hole <laughs> uh, I mean that serves a pur purpose to wake you up but then at the end of the day it may distract you from your inner work from from your own healing um, so just try to keep a balance um, and just keep growing keep growing and you know, this is part of the game. Do you want to beat the game or do you want the game control you or manipulate you? Is that the experience you want now or do you want a different experience? It's all about choices. Yes, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate all the information you give us. And I love it that I can have so many different clients and experiences who have never listened to these sessions prior, but always get the same information. It gives me so much joy uh, to see the consistency um, of these collectives and the information, knowing that a lot of my clients are quite blind to this information and content. Yes, and because you have public sessions, you wake people up and, you, and they resonate with your information and other people will be triggered. And that's all purposeful. And, you know, a lot of information is out there and you will get a lot of trolls and then just follow your intuition and you know a lot of people want to use other people and then you'll know if they want to use you and use you as a crutch definitely i have been on what it feels like a little troll hunt recently um and i feel awful um <laughs> having it's to part, it's, unfortunately it's just part of being a public figure <laughs> well i mean <laughs> rest in peace the funeral was beautiful um but i felt terrible being a troll slayer um but my goodness i just have forgotten how interesting um and how profoundly hurt so many people are that they have to be so feral. 
Yes. But that's part of the polarity. And you have helped so many. So focus on the ones you have helped. And you have no idea who could be listening to your information. And they never reached out to you to say thank you. But in the and you know in a physical manner, but they are thankful. And it's you know you're also having a human life. And this is part of the life experience. And we all have ups, days that are, you know, up and down and just regroup, center yourself, re-energize yourself and keep going because you could have just, um, you have a shield. So empower your shield, make it stronger. When you get holes, just repair it just uh, center yourself center your energy surround yourself again with love with the shield and keep going they're just they're gonna try to come at you but they they won't get through don't allow them you know, you can, you know, you're a bigger blessing. And now you're experiencing it now here. So you can see what it feels like. But it's part of the polarity. And you have a shield around you. Just ask for help. Ask your team for help if you feel like sometimes you cannot do it on your own and it's okay because nobody can do this life on your own that's why we have a team and we have a lot of light workers here to support each other wonderful and i think that would be applicable to so many others who are listening when they feel that they are being mm -hmm overwhelmed with some dense negativity um i guess there is great lessons to see others who are not doing the inner work to be able to see how far we've come um there's so much growth and purposes to see others and where they're at and i love being able to support others and rescue others from the trolls because Sometimes that Facebook group can just be quite extraordinary um, with their interactions. And sometimes I just think, what life contracts do these people have with each other? Because this is just interesting. Anyway, well, I do appreciate all the information you've given us. Is there any more information that you need to share with us today? Yes, regarding the Facebook group. Um, It's also purposeful to awaken people because by humans having a veil and now um, coming in, you know, having the information about star seeds and Nigerians and Pleiadians, that opens their mind, right? So the Facebook group is kind of like preschool, right? From not knowing anything about other beings to all of a sudden be aware of Pachurians and Pleiadians, you know, that's part of the awakening. And it's like preschool and you already beyond preschool, preschoolers. So it's kind of frustrating, you know, dealing with the preschoolers uh, and you know you're not the only one there's many people there that can also help so you know you're just just, just doing whatever you can and uh, there's there's a lot that you're doing by sharing your information already um, 
So for people that want to listen, they will listen. And if they're not ready for the information, they will just block it or ignore it. But the information is there for anybody that wants to access it. Um, so, you know, the more you share, the more you will expand people's minds. And, you know, the group, the group keeps growing. And that's a good thing because there's more people that want information and are looking for information. And yes, they get stuck with the notion of what other planets are like or go through the rabbit hole and ignore their inner healing per se. But that will, that will spark something in them. And, you know, once they graduate from one level, then they go to the next and the next layer of healing and the next layer of healing. So everybody's at different levels, per se. But, you know, that group is just give people a sense of community and a sense of they're not alone or crazy. You know, they can find, find people that are like-minded. So it's, it's just another way to express yourself. Um, and then other people will comment on whatever you post, whatever message you posted. But it's all about having a sense of community and um, make people realize that they're not crazy. I love the support systems that I see in the dialogue and the conversations and the hearing is so beautiful. People are trusting complete strangers with their most private experiences, which could sound very crazy to many who don't believe in other species off this planet, let alone within this planet. So I am really grateful to see so much connections it does give me great joy and hope to see that growth and those people um it feels so much um, yeah and and you'll know the people that are more advanced more high vibrational and those are the people you enjoy working with yeah i'm definitely seeing some real um really impressively beautiful uh people in there that are um, just they have this eloquence with their words and uh, their connections and their grace. So I, I do see them and love them. And it's exciting times, that's for sure. Okay. Um, is there any other information you'd like us to know at this time? No, thank you. Thank okay. you for the opportunity. Will you love, you know, that I love to chat? and um, hear what you have to say for us. Um, and I know everything that we hear in these sessions is incredibly purposeful, whether it is an experience of growth or an experience to be triggered to then have that growth. I really appreciate all. Yes, thank you.